Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. That's to keep you guys updated with things that I found going around the world of Transformers. I'll let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. Now, even though I've been doing little updates as well in between this and what's happening Wednesday, I've still got loads of things to go through with you today, including great new images of some of the products that we already know are coming out. But we're going to start with something new and this is Icon Studios. Oh, Icon heroes and this is a couple of just a little bit of merchandise we've got a brilliant optimus prime mouse mat there of course very g1-esque and then we've got again g1 pin badges this is of course prowl and jazz and i just love the way they've used the g1 packaging for the front and indeed the back there is the battle scene on the back of that and let's have a look at the pin badges in a bit more detail. As you can see, they pretty much used the box art there. It's looking brilliant. If you want to order any of these, if you go to TFW 2005, there is the actual article. You can actually click there where it says pre-order. And just for if you want to know, the mouse mat, I think, is $15. It is. And the pin badges, you can probably read there yourself, are coming in at $34.99. So there you go. That is where you need to go if you want to order either of them. Both, I think, are looking brilliant, to be honest. Right. Moving on to some images, in-hand images again. I've got loads of in-hand images of, of figures that we're expecting. Just again, I suppose, to have a look at how good they look. So this is, of course, Master Dominus. This is only him by himself, though. The person who's got these um, in hand hasn't actually got the full kit. They've just got the normal Mirage there, obviously, rather than the lead foot figure that we're going to be getting in the twin pack. Um, but I think he looks really good. I'm really, as I say, excited for these. Obviously, um, what we've got here is, I suppose, a redeco and a slight retool, obviously, of Ractonite. And I just can't wait to see what people come up with. There's some pe people out there who are just amazing with their ingenuity and just ingeniousness of building some of the things with these. You can see that he's actually taller than Mirage. So um, the way you're going to be able to combine them all, I think it's just going to be amazing. Can't wait for it. Right. Moving on to Super 7, and this is their new set of Ultimates. And Super 7 are basically, the Ultimates are 7-inch figures. And what they basically are, let's be honest, is, and people have asked me, what do you mean by Action Masters? So the very tail end of Generation 1, we had these figures here. So these are pretty much what your Super 7 figures are right now. So this is, I'm going to show you in a minute, this is Action Master Soundwave, but this is from way back one. This, this is Generation 1, and it's non-transforming, which is pretty much what exactly these guys are. So let me show you. So there's three. There's three of them coming out in the new wave. You've got Fallen Optimus Prime, which as you can see, he's grey. And that's the official image that they're using of him. Then we've got Soundwave, and you'll see exactly what I mean in a second. There he is in there. Um, remember, these guys are seven inches tall, though, so they are quite big, and that's why they're classed as Ultimates. There's an official product image. Then we've got Starscream. And do you know what I really like about this guy? I'm going to show you in a second when we come to all the parts. There he is in his box. And there's an official image. So they are poseable, as I say. Of course, they're non-transforming. Um, there's all three of them in the group. But then if we have a look at the accessories that come with them. So Optimus has got an abundance of accessories, different hands, his gun, and of course the Matrix. Soundwave has got the yellow eyes if you want as well. So you've got a choice of having toy accurate or, of course, cartoon accurate. Again, with an abundance of hands, laser beak, blaster, energon cube. Um, and a different head sculpt as well. And then what I like about this guy is, look, there's Starscream. Now, you can even have, if you look at the heads, one of them, of course, is a toy mode head, which I just think is brilliant. Such a good idea. Another Energon Cube, another different head, Megatron and Pistol, and again, loads of different hands. So... Um, but they're just expensive, aren't they? They're $55, um, which means they're £50 in the UK. I know the conversion rate isn't the best, but um, yeah, uh, 50 quid for a non-transforming figure, even though, of course, 3-0, etc. But of course, that's a different league. They're way more detailed. And it's just, it, baff it not baffles, it's brilliant how things have come full circle. Like, again, these were pretty much not the people just really didn't like these back in the day and like now we're just getting loads and loads we've got super seven we've got reactive we've got so many different guys and companies making figures that don't transform so i think it's brilliant in honesty it's come full circle so what we've got now is as expected we've got even more rise of the beasts merchandise this has popped up on pretty much loads of social media today and the funny thing is we've just got some images of what we believe to be um, and i've got some better images of this later on anyway so we've got optimus prime and bumblebee there and we've got their images here on some slippers so we've got loads of kids merchandise here uh and we've got there is him in detail 
and there we've got a t-shirt with bumblebee on now the, the interesting thing with this if you have a proper look it looks like we've obviously got the 2007 version of bumblebee of course the camaro but we've got the bumblebee movie head and i'll show you that in a bit more detail in a second here's some more merchandise optimus prime high tops uh, brilliant loads of stuff coming out there's some pajamas and the reason why i'm showing you this is because look at all the factions we've got decepticons autobots maximals predacons remember i was saying in the last video that that's of course the trademarks that they were looking to they do exactly that trademark and patent as part of hasbro only so yeah loads of them loads of merchandise coming out um and again there's going to be so much stuff somebody commented on in there totally true that they're not going to be able to store all the stuff in warehouses for the next year i mean obviously the movie's been delayed i imagine we're going to get so many products before we even see anything of the movie right moving on and again you've just seen but what i like about this is i know we've seen loads of images but it's nice to see some official images and it's nice to see some official images in packaging so this of course is alita one there she is with her box and uh, again look at the beautiful artwork on that box then you've got um alternate mode and just very quickly robot modes and i've got this for quite a few of them just purely again because i'm mainly to show you this the packaging is stunning i know we've seen these i know some people have been lucky enough to have them already in hand but it's nice to see the box art look at that um, I'm very, very excited for pretty much all of this wave, in all honesty. I just cannot wait for it. And again, these are the official images of, that have now been released on the internet so that we can all see them. There, of course, is Tarantulas. He's looking really quite small in that box, I think. And again, we've got Alternate and Robot Mode. So that's some of the deluxe figures. Then we've got the one that I think most people, most people I seem to speak to are more excited about this than anyone else. Beautiful, beautiful box art, amazing alternate mode, and of course, amazing robot mode. Right, more images of figures that we um, are waiting to come for. This, of course, is... We don't know if it's Generation Selects. We think it's obviously going to be Legacy Velocitron. Is it? Again, I might be wrong with that, guys, but it's definitely going to be Ransack. I'm really excited for this figure. Really excited for this figure. I think the head sculpt is brilliant. Look at the detail on there. You can even see that there's little bobbles on the um, insect eyes. I'll show you that in a bit more detail in a second. What I don't understand is the person who's got these pictures and who's got the figure in hand, they've not put the two weapons together. Um, I'm going to do one better than that for you guys. Rather than just have a picture of the... Um, of the old generation one figure for those of you who don't already know i've done a full review of this guy on this channel already and as you can see the head sculpt the homage to this particular figure is brilliant so when i get one in hand i won't be doing it in front of a phone i'll be doing a direct comparison with this particular one here brilliant brilliant figures and yeah like i did with the kickback i don't understand why they've not put these underneath to make it more look look like his um belly on the underside um i'll definitely be doing that for you when i get to my review there's the detail i was on about there with the head look at the eyes beautiful detail i'm really excited for this figure kickback for me was the the one that surprised me the most i thought i'd prefer skids um but yeah i think kickback for me won this particular wave of figures again here's some more in the official boxes here of course is jaxus there's the back. Interesting thing about this is going to be 23 steps. And of course, it's a completely new mold. So looking forward to that. We've got robot mode and alternate mode. And then just very quickly, again, just to clarify, because I've had people ask. So the sound wave is, again, the Siege version. You can see there at the back. So it's definitely not the Netflix. It is 100% just the Siege. And for those of people are thinking, why have they repackaged it? It's exactly what they've done with Galvatron. So you'll notice he's completely clean, as in there's no damage on him. There's no battle damage. See how the blue's all clean? whereas of course the siege one had the battle damage on it whereas this is just like galvatron galvatron released under legacy is of course clean no battle damage sound wave is exactly the same right this looks interesting again as well had some pictures of this the other day uh, from the guy who actually made it but this is again leaked to somebody else and this is quite interesting though it is direct comparisons with the new studio series rc and the earthrise one so as you can see the earthrise one is hopefully that's on your left this one here is the earthrise one anyway and let's go and have a look look at this this is the thing that's most interesting so from behind you can obviously see that the earthrise one has the back end up above the torso part whereas the new uh what's the word i'm on about yeah the new studio series uh, 86 one there it's the front end of the car so that's going to make it even more interesting when we see it in hand 
Um, again, it's more cartoon accurate, shall we say, which is, of course, what they're going for. I think when you see them side by side, in honesty as well, it looks a little bit bigger. So we've obviously got there, you can see the newer one. And of course, there's the older one. I think it just looks that little bit, again, more cartoon accurate. And again, I can't wait to see it in hand. Moving on, this was this is actually the instructions. I even pointed out, funny enough, when, I, when we saw the images of the mask, I was like, oh, they've got the instructions as well. And lo and behold, this is screenshots of the actual instructions. So this is the Optimus Primal mask that we can see there converts from the mask into the robot. And unbelievably, it's it's 12 steps to do it, as you can see there. So this is for that mask that you can see there that, again, was leaked everywhere, all over the Internet, all at the beginning of the week. What do we got left now? One more thing that I was on about, and this is, again, the images. So I've got both images taken from this. This is what we are pretty much presuming that Bumblebee in the new Rise of the Beasts movie is going to look like. And as I said, you've obviously got the Bumblebee movie head sculpt and then you've got the Camaro, the original Camaro from the original 2007 movie. This image is what I've taken from TFW 2005 and this image is the one of T Formers where you can see Primal as well. Um, it's, it's come from some Russian site to be honest and it looks to be completely legit obviously that's why the writing is in Russian there but again as I said when we saw the merchandise I imagine we're just going to get so many images of all of these um, and I think it's going to spoil it, to be honest. I think it really is going to spoil the fact that we're going to see the toys before the films and, you know, maybe a set of pyjamas with the full images on before we get the films. Um, so I don't know why they've delayed it so much. Maybe they might bow to a bit of public pressure and see if they can speed it up and get it out a bit sooner. Or I don't know how they're going to hold everything back, in all honesty. So that's all I've got for this so far. Again, if anything else breaks over the weekend, I'll let you know straight away. With regards to the channel, um, I'm going to be doing these bumblebees. Funnily enough, speaking of bumblebee, I've been asked to do them. Um, I've been asked to do Mindset for TF Fan Geek. This is going to be for him. So I've got these ready here, loose and one to go. One other bonus little video I'm going to be doing as well is I've been asked to clarify or suppose to show because I've mentioned in the legacy ones that now that they've got no windows, you can flat pack them. And I know it may sound really obvious to some people, but I'm just going to show people what I'm doing. Just a quick little video to show you guys that. Um, um, I've got another unboxing video to do tomorrow. Um, I laughed and I joked in the other one. Damn you, Hasbro Pulse, <laughs> with, the, with the face emoji like that. Um, I've got another box coming in um, because of that ridiculous sale that they did over the weekend. So I've got an unboxing of that to do. Um, and I don't know what else. I've brought a couple of other cheap things off eBay. I found a really cheap smoke screen. If he comes in from Earthrise, I'll do a video on that. Um, I've got Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime to do. And again, the list is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'll do my absolute very best to just keep powering through them for you guys. And of course, if anything else, as I say, drops, I'll let you know instantly. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.